click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends i welcome you all to the subject electromagnetic field theory we are in this video at the last of the chapter number 12 that is the guided waves so this chapter is contributed to see the wave propagation into the guided manner where the electromagnetic wave can be having the controlled propagation from one point to another point to meet the needs of the communication systems uh, working on to the electromagnetic uh, wave certain frequency values so in this chapter we first of all concentrated on to the multiconductor transmission line because the multiconductor transmission line also support up to certain frequency value the propagation so it was the two conductor parallel transmission line the coaxial transmission line the strip lines and multi uh, and micro strip line we have solved numerous examples on to those concepts and started with the exact guided waves through the rectangular wave guide so rectangular wave guide is a hollow metallic tube for the rectangular wave guide we have seen the analysis in terms of the e field and h field the ideal mode of wave propagation tem mode is not possible hence the alternatives are either to have transverse magnetic or transverse electric waves to propagate in rectangular wave guide the dominant mode was found to be te10 mode giving the minimum cut off frequency or the maximum cut off wavelength that is cut off wavelength lambda c is equal to twice a in the previous three videos we have solved three problems based on to the rectangular wave guide let us take one more problem to conclude this particular chapter and especially the rectangular wave guides in the rectangular wave guide for the te mode of wave propagation we had address the impedance wave impedance so that will be helpful to determine the value here so this is the problem statement find the wave impedance for dominant mode of te wave in an air filled rectangular wave guide of dimension 8 cm by 5 cm operating at 4 gigahertz so in this problem statement we come to know that there it is a rectangular wave guide as already defined it is a hollow metallic tube it is filled up with the air hence for the air medium dielectric medium we can have the application of the parameters that is epsilon 0 permittivity mu 0 the permeability the constant values known to us now what is asked to us we have to find the wave impedance so impedance we generally denote by z so we have to find wave impedance for te wave hence z te has to be determined the mode is dominant mode hence z te suffix 10 can be denoted here now what is the given data we are only provided with the dimensions the dimensions are 8 cm by 5 cm 8 cm is the larger dimension so we make a is equal to 8 cm and b the smaller dimension so breadth and width width is equal to 5 cm the operating frequency is also given 4 gigahertz therefore in the problem number 4 we first of all take down the given data so a will be equal to 8 cm that is 8 into 10 to the power minus 2 meters here b will be equal to 5 cm that is 5 into 10 to the power minus 2 meters f will be equal to 4 gigahertz that is 4 into 10 to the power 9 hertz so as the required thing is the wave impedance for the dominant mode of propagation zt10 is what is the question so the wave impedance in terms of the angular frequency the permeability and the phase change that occurs inside the rectangular wave guide for dominant wave propagation can be given by zt10 is equal to omega mu divided by beta so in a general the beta can be given by the formula and all these uh, manipulations we can do in terms of the intrinsic impedance divided by under root here 1 minus omega c divided by omega this has to be squared so the rhs 
in terms of simple the frequency value that is with us so it will be eta divided by under root it is 1 minus fc divided by f bracket squared here so this should be z te10 so we have to substitute the values here now for te10 the dominant mode we say therefore the substitution of fc has to be calculated so fc is initially 1 upon twice a under root of mu into epsilon or we can say fc is nothing but the c upon lambda c that is 3 into 10 to the power 8 divided by twice a so 3 into 10 to the power 8 divided by 2 into the broader dimension 8 centimeter we have 8 into 10 to the power minus 2 i substitute in place of a so this results into the cutoff frequency cutoff frequency fc is now it is 3 into 10 to the power 8 divided by 0 0.16 the whole we can substitute into the above formula f is already with us that is 4 into 10 to the power 9 we can have the simplification to cancel out it 40 into 10 to the power 8 here so the formula to obtain the wave impedance that is zt10 can be given the intrinsic impedance for the air field rectangular waveguide it will be intrinsic impedance eta sometimes it is zero also called as 120 pi that is nothing but 377 ohms here so this is 377 divided by under root of here we have 1 minus the 3 divided by 6.4 and the bracket will be squared here so therefore the wave impedance for the given conditions of rectangular waveguide we obtained ZTE10 given by 426.793. Here the substitution of the denominator second term in square root is actually Fc upon F that is 3 into 10 to the power 8 divided by the F value. So F value uh, that we have substituted here so we obtain this particular answer the wave impedance always to be given the SI system of units ohm hence z te suffix 10 can be written 426.7936 here that is in terms of ohm so i outline the required result so with this answer the last problem based on to the rectangular waveguide problem number 4 has been completed here. So I hope the understanding of guided waves in terms of the rectangular waveguide is very much clear to all of you. As like the cross section of hollow metallic tube to be the circular one, instead of rectangular waveguide we can have the circular waveguide. The circular waveguide also does not support TEM wave propagation. It also goes for the TM or TE mode of wave propagation. The analysis if it is to be done, so that is to be taken with the help of cylindrical coordinate system for the symmetry purposes. So in the next video, we shall be starting the new chapter that is chapter number 13 where we can see the radiation and antenna fundamentals. So for getting such more chapters, more details of the subject electromagnetic field theory, you can subscribe to Ikeda channel. Thank you.